Hi, my name is Dana Church and I'm going to be showing you how to draw a horse onto a pumpkin. People do like to carve them, but sometimes they like to draw them, and this is an easy way that you can take a picture and transfer it to a pumpkin. First of all, you have to go to the internet, obviously, and or either, no, actually, obviously not. You could draw your own if you wanted to. If you're really into it, draw your own horse, and then take the piece of paper from your print or from whatever you've drawn, and you cut it as small as you can, really. You don't want all this extra paper hanging out everywhere. So after you cut it, you go over to your pumpkin, and I start from the top, and I put the tape on. Masking tape usually works just fine. Um, and then I work my way down, folding and pressing as I go, working this flat piece of paper onto a round surface. That's the key to try to get it close up against there. Then I skip the step again, but what you're supposed to do, let's go back a little bit before you actually tape this on. You're supposed to take your picture and take an oil pastel or a crayon and cover the back of the picture with it thoroughly. I mean, you can actually also look and see where exactly do I need to put it like this. But I, just for safety's sake, I usually cover most of the whole area of the paper. And you know, you gotta get it pretty dark. So you do all that first, make sure it's all covered with a thick layer of that. Then, then let's go back to the taping on part. So then you tape it on and you're to that point now. And then you take a pencil or pen and then you go over all the lines pretty hard. You press down, as I said before, you press down almost, it can go through the paper, that's fine. Just don't do that too much so that it starts to detach itself. So use just the right amount of pressure, you'll have to just figure that out as you go. But you're pressing, pressing, drawing, drawing. And then when you do that, everything, all the lines have been gone over, you take the tape off. See? and you see what we have under here. Now I've already gone over this one with a marker, but um, you could actually even paint onto it too now if you wanted to, but I used a Sharpie marker and um, went over it. And it's actually a very simple little design. You could get more elaborate than this, but this is a good, easy, safe way to make sure you come up with something that you like. So drawing a horse head on a pumpkin.